Okay, this time let's talk about plants and how they're made and the different ways to pot the ball. And there's a trick to this shot as well, which simplifies it greatly because people's perception of the, the shot is far simpler than they thought originally. So let's just start with the basic plant. And obviously a plant is when the two reds are together in a straight line with the pocket. So you just hit the first ball in the center and make the plant. So basically, you get down into the shot, hit the ball in the middle, and the second one goes in. That's a basic plant. Now the second shot is a bit more difficult because it's not set with the pocket. So on first impression, that shot looks as though it can't be made because it's not even facing the pocket. But it's possible to still make the second red to go in. And people confuse this shot and they get it really wrong because they get confused by it. They try, they try to figure it out. Uh, well, if you're after it this side, then you must after it the opposite side. Uh, and they're, they're always trying to like make sense of it and they overcomplicate it because it's not as difficult as it may appear. Now, if you can imagine for a second that that was just one ball in front of you and the cue ball is in a straight line with that ball or virtually in a straight line with that first ball, then if you hit that first ball in the middle, the second ball will just go in a straight line and it would miss the pocket. So let me just demonstrate that now. So I'll get down, play the shot, and I'll hit the first ball in the middle and the second ball will miss the pocket. There you go, I've missed the pocket. Now, if I just set that shot up again, as close as I can, as it was before, something similar to that, and I'll place the white ball somewhere near that again. Now, provided they're in a reasonable straight line, I can demonstrate the shot again for you. So, basically, the answer to this shot and the problem is quite simple. What you have to do, even though there's two balls together and they are touching, what you have to do is you have to just imagine that it's just one ball, one object ball. So, basically, when people work this shot out, in the past, what they've always done is they've always thought, right, the plant is aiming to the left of the pocket, so how do I get it go to the right? Well, it's basically just one ball. So if the plant's aiming to the left of the pocket and you want it to go to the right, then you just aim to the left of the first red, therefore making it just one ball. And that's how you should treat all of these reverse plants as just one ball. So I'll demonstrate that shot for you now by hitting the left-hand side of the first red. And what it does is it forces the second red to the right, just as if you were hitting the left-hand side of the first ball. So I'll just demonstrate that now. So I'm hitting the left-hand side of the first red. So here goes. Now, I'm down on the shot. I'm hitting the left-hand side of the red. And it squeezes it over to the right. And that's how you play the reverse plant.